This is the question of uh, 2013, October, November, paper 1 1, and the question number is 14. So it says an archer draws his bowstring, bowstring back to position X. The bowstring and uh, arrow are shown. The tension T in the string is also shown. Then he draws the bowstring back further to position Y. So this is the position Y. So when it pulls like this, as we can observe, uh, the angle here has been different, smaller actually. The resultant force on the arrow is uh, greater when the arrow is released from position Y. Yes, it's position Y. What's the increase in force? So what we can do is, uh, we have to find the resultant force in this case and in this case. In the first case, the resultant force will be, since it is tension T here, it's a component, component in this direction, in this direction will be in this direction will be t cos of 65 degree and its component component here will also will also be equal to t cos of 65 degree so therefore the resultant will be equal to equal to these two will add up since they are in the same direction it will be 2t cos 65 degree so its value will be equal to equal to 2 into 100 t equal 100 into into we have uh, cos and uh, 65 degree equal to so its value is equal to 84.5 newton in the same way the resultant force in this case will be equal to 2t uh, cos 55 degree this time the value of tension is equal to is equal to 120 so it is 2 into 120 into into cos uh, 55 so its value will be equal to equal to equal to 137.7 newton now the difference or increase will be given by will be given by so it is 137.7 minus 84.5 so the value is equal to 53.2 and the choice that is uh, similar to this is this is 53 newton which is choice number d so it should be the correct answer